We used to hear stories about 100 planes went out and only 99 came back. We spent at least two decades trying to find that site. We found another big chunk of the back of the aircraft here, but the, but the final resting spots are probably around here. When you put those puzzles together and you get it right, you can have a major impact on someone's family. He explains to his mom, please don't worry, just remember, I said I'll be back one day. In the southwest Pacific, 500 miles from the Philippines, are the Palaos, westernmost of the Japanese-mandated islands. We must seize it to protect our invasion of the Philippines. Navy planes from fast carrier forces strike first. It was, you know, it was a strategically located position that was close to the Philippines and sort of a good place for the Japanese to station troops, ships, aircraft. Palau was a major Japanese air base and headquarters during World War II. We had, you know, those dual drives, the Southwest Pacific Drive, General MacArthur going up the south, Admiral Nimitz and the U.S. Navy coming across the Central Pacific, and their goal was to sort of meet up at the Philippines. And then one of the major islands in the way was Palau. They were used to Americans coming in and attacking them. We begin by softening it up, bombing, strafing. They were ready. They had been struck in the past. Project Recover historian Colin Colborn says at the time it was important for the Americans to start hitting Palau hard with our carrier forces. So in preparation for the invasion of Peleliu on September 15th, one U.S. plane went out and never came back. We had a carrier strike on September 10th, and that is when uh, Wilbur Mitz and uh, the crew of that TBM went down. So that's the pilot. This is my uncle. 24-year-old Wilbur Mitz grew up in Seaside, California. He's a radio man, so he's going to be at the base. His great niece, Tanya, and nephews, Brandon and Shane. So this is June 17th, 44. Have learned a lot about Uncle Wilbur through letters, newspaper articles, school yearbooks. So under Wilbur, where is he at? Yeah, Wilbur Mitz, a boxer, modest, athletic, and smiling. And piecing his life together through photographs. He's a great boxer. I forget the number, but 100 and something fights. I think he got knocked down twice. Wilbur joined the Navy right out of high school and went to radio school in Norfolk. We always heard great stories about how he was as a person. And it's unfortunate that everybody that's still alive today never got a chance to meet him. He was like a family hero. You know, everybody looked up. You know, he was the uncle that served at the never came home. The department deeply regrets to inform you that your son, Wilbur Archie Mitz, Aviation Radio Man First Class USN, is missing following action while in the service of his country. Following the war, the American Graves Registration Service conducted several searches for the plane in the summer of 1947. Because it was uh, spinning, started losing parts. Investigators never found any evidence of Mitz, Pilot Anthony DePetta, Lieutenant Jay Manone, or the TBM Aventure they were flying. That is until the early 2000s when the Bent Prop Project, which is now known as Project Recover, stepped in. Um, the wreckage is actually spread out over quite a bit of area on both land and water. Project Recover CEO Derek Abbey remembers in 2003 when they started finding parts of the plane in Palau. He says it wasn't until they combined efforts and partnered with Scripps researchers from San Diego and the University of Delaware that they were able to find more of the wreckage. This is a big lagoon um, and, and surveying it takes a lot of time. Udell's Mark Moline was on the mission when they located the bulk of the plane in 2014. It was uh, very silty and then obviously there was a, a wreckage there. It was all this, these pieces that are straight and that kind of thing which don't happen in nature. We knew it was something so we dove on it. A lot of wires. It looks like a mess of stuff, but I know where to plug everything in. <laughs> Project Recover works to find these missing planes using sonar technology to ultimately bring the remains of fallen Americans back home. Just basically got to feed this thing. They have a large team of people overseeing the technology, including team members like Eric White and Matt Breesey, who drive the sonar vehicles and know how to fix them if they break. And it'll tell us the speed, how much battery has got left, how much uh, time remaining in the mission. The mission? To find aircraft like the one Wilbur Mitz was on. You're looking back into the, the plane here. 
And once they find it, they call in experts from the Defense Prisoner of War MIA Accounting Agency and their partner agencies to carefully extract the remains and get them to the lab. We transport the remains in bags of salt water, the same salt water that they were uh, found in. Case manager Dr. Greg Berg says after a series of baths to get the remains out of the ocean environment they're found in, they're able to start the DNA analysis. And then they give us back a report of, okay, these samples that you sent in, they have this sequence, they have this sequence, and they have this sequence. And then we can use a family reference sample that is provided by the families like Mitz or DiPietta or Manown, and then match the sequences to those individuals. Tasha, her brothers, and other family members sent in their DNA two years ago after getting a letter from the DOD. It was my uncle who big contributor because he is descent of, you know, his mother. It's hard to believe that after 79 years that you're able to find that kind of stuff. Bringing family together, old and new, to soon, like great uncle Wilbur, to rest. We're one of the lucky ones to get to bring him home because of these great companies that put their time and effort into locating them. And although only the ocean holds answers as to what happened that day, it also held Wilbur's promise to make it back home. Hey, just remember, I said I'll be back. In one way or another, I'll be back. And that's for sure. I just know I'm sure, I'm a sure bet to be back. He is, he's coming home.